and could be disputed, but one of the, the kind of the zingers for me, what does the word infernal mean? Okay, it's not a very commonly used word, the word infernal. He is the nasty one, and it, it is, it says he is, and I said you are, but it's, it sounds more like he is no. the nasty one. Inferno is fire, no, or infernal, infernal is, uh, it's, it it's hell, isn't it? Uh, All right, it's the American Heritage Dictionary, the word infernal says of or relating to hell abominable or damnable and uh, talking about jesus now who would be the most abominable person to satan of course uh, christ who defeated him he is the nasty one christ you're infernal and that kind of ties in there possibly a little bit uh that that is a little you have to use a little bit of imagination to yeah on that that's true on that piece now hear that uh you know i've to me, I can hear it very easily. To somebody that's just listened to it, uh, it may be a little slurred, but uh, let's you know, go I, on. I heard it after the, the second pass. I heard it very clearly. All right, clearly. there's another band, uh, Black Oak, Arkansas, and uh, they've got a song, The Day Electricity Came to Arkansas. Now, what's incredible about this is it's a live album, okay? There could be no backtracking done, or, or if, even if, and just kind of playing the devil's advocate, they were trying... ELO was trying to do this on purpose, like he is the nasty one, Christ, you're infernal. They would have to cut it over and over and over to get it just right. Well, this is a live album, which you don't have the availability to do that. Let's, let me play a piece of that for you forwards. forward that was forward now <laughs> what's in, what's incredible about this piece is the fact that he went naughty 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 either natas or latosh or something natas 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 yes. now obviously why would he not just say satan 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 why would he say it backwards natas 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 three times. I think we have a clue to that we'll share with you a little bit later. But right. I mean, to, quite frankly, if he would have said Satan, 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 it wouldn't have been that objectionable because they have other songs like Race with the Devil and songs like that, and it wouldn't have been, the lyrics would not have been out of place if he would have said Satan, Satan, Satan. But he said it in a toss, in a toss, in a toss. Why? Let's play that backwards and see why. Try it again. Now I'll slow it down just a it, little. It goes into that laughing, doesn't right. it? Right. Listen for Satan, 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 and a fourth Satan. He is God, he is God, he is God. And then the laughter. You hear the laughter. Okay. Satan, Satan, Satan. He is God, he is God. And then the laughter by Black Oak, Arkansas. Now, hmm. I'm going to get into something that I've never actually done it on the air before. It's kind of going to be a first because after this, I always get a question, well, can, does it work on Christian music? Now, I've heard uh, there's a, a personality that has a radio program out here that says he's taken Christian albums, played them backwards, and also gotten satanic messages. Well, I have not heard them. I, I can be quite honest. I have not heard any of those pieces. But I've got, and this is kind of a coincidence, it really wasn't planned, the song Behold the Lamb by... Uh, Which Dottie Rambo wrote, who is here with us tonight. Right. <laughs> and it was the praise singers that sang it that night. Yeah. Uh, and it Rich was... Rich Cook and the Rich praise Cook. singers. Yeah. Well, kind of, Dave Vaughn discovered this, where he took Behold the Lamb, Behold the Lamb. This is the piece we used. <laughs> 
Dave Vaughn is our sound man here. Behold the Lamb. All right, obviously that was forwards, and it, we just took that piece, and when we played it backwards, listen for Lamb of Glory, Lamb of Glory. Play it for you a couple times. We've, we've got to make a decision right here. We've got five. We've got to let's break. let's. Um, let's break so we can save this two hours. You want to break and, and save this two hours, but we'll go on. In fact, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want us to clear the whole network tomorrow for the third hour. We will take a little break, but if you want to stay with us for a few more uh, minutes, we have some very interesting evidence as to. Well, let me just put it this way. The big question in my mind that, I, that Paul and I were talking about tonight, what's Why the purpose? Is. What's the purpose of all this backward masking? Because the thing is, somebody may never hear a song backwards, like what I'm doing here. You may never hear Natas, Natas, Natas backwards saying Satan, 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 like you're doing here. But uh, Well, there is another reason that I personally believe that this backward masking is being foisted upon us by Satan. We would be remiss in this two-hour syndicated segment if we did not pause and have a final word of prayer in this hour. Rambo's get ready to sing another beautiful song for us, and when we move into the next hour, I want to hear that one more time. That's just that's just glorious beyond beyond words. I I, I have to just say praise the Lord for that, and I know you all join with us in that. But if you, after having heard and seen the evidence that you have seen tonight, wish to choose to receive Christ as your Savior, I'd like to lead you in a simple little prayer right now, and I'd like for you to repeat it after me. 